Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Collector. Welcome to my nerd cave. Um, so I've got a couple new subscribers since my last game room tour last month. But the room has changed. You're about to see room 3.0. You never saw 2.0, but here's what happened. So literally the night after I posted my last game room tour, I said to myself, you know what? Don't like I completely swap them to different rooms, and then, once I got the other room set up, it occurred to me, I've got a big-ass den that I walk through at least twice a day that's big enough for both games and toys. So, I have been moving for over a week. There's... Five days just in the afternoon after work, moving it from one room to another room. Then I spent most of this weekend moving everything, and I mean everything, to the den. So, first and foremost, I just want to say two things. Full disclosure, one, no, I do not live with my parents. I bought a house so that I have room to store my shit. Two... No, I am not a virgin. With all that being said, let's do a damn room tour, and hopefully this will be the last of 2021. Alright, so... Walk through the red curtains, and you see... My new... Game and toy room. Um, one thing that you will notice is I'm a guy that hates empty space. Uh, as you see, I've got carded figures lining the ceiling, uh, just tacked up. Um, at some point, I am going to hang shelves, just little wall shelves, up here, uh, anywhere that there's room, so that I can put uh, more stuff on, because I'm always running out of room, and I don't even have everything in here. Like, I've got stuff that I just didn't have room for, uh, and I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but anyway... So, uh, let's just kind of go through, uh, we're going to start over here, actually, towards the kitchen. Over here, up top, we got a few of the Aladdin plastic lunch boxes. Scroll down, and you see I've got board games. Pan around here, and I've got some of the metal lunch boxes lining these shelves. I think I'm putting something right there. I'm not sure what yet, though. We're going to go over here. And I'm trying to, like, not knock anything over while I do this. But we got a few boxed consoles up there. And uh, my Ataris and an Intellivision up top. Come down and you see uh, PS1 games. Uh, that's actually the rarest game in my collection as far as PS1 go goes. Scroll down here, more PS1 games, as well as a original PlayStation and the actual PS1 console. And down here we've got a handful of uh, PS2 games, including the Shin Megami Tensei collection that I have. I don't think that's all of them, but that's, uh, that's all the ones that I've got so far. And down here we've got original Xbox. And down here is Atari, Intellivision, um, Odyssey 2... Just anything like that, including the cards that go to the Intellivision uh, controller. Over here on this side of the curtain that you saw, uh, excuse the carpet, I need, I, I need a vacuum, I know. I've just been busy, I've been moving stuff, so I just hadn't gotten around to actually cleaning, cleaning, just uh, moving stuff. So here we got a vintage Nintendo toy box. I believe this one has like empty game cases as well as some loose disc stuff. Uh, then there's the tools that I used to put stuff up. Then here's another vintage Nintendo toy box that has some severe water damage on top, but that's okay. Uh, I use that to store my wires and cables. Try not to step on a dog. Okay, so we're going to come up here, and there is DJ Hero, Dance Dance Revolution Supernova 2, Guitar Hero 2 and 3 with the guitars. Scroll down and you see uh, the PS2 collection, as well as a couple of uh, Kratos statues. 
down here some more, uh, including the uh, Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Controller. Down here some more PS2 games, as well as the PS2 consoles that I own. Uh, PS4 games. And down here are the last of the PS2 games, as well as some Mighty Max figures, because I hate empty space. I do want to give a shout out to these right here. Um, I bought like 15 of these for like 9 bucks, and I'm going to show you what I did with them. Uh, but these are really handy, and I'll show you why in just a second. Down here we've got some uh, VCR board games. Uh, that nightmare board game just didn't fit on the shelf, so. And then here we have, uh, this is what I used them for. So those are the, that's all six of the gold cards that you could get from Burger King back in the day. As well as a framed uh, Pikachu tribute. Down here is the Charmander tribute, along with all of the Pokemon cart games that I own. Down here's Squirtle, along with a few Pokemon toys. And down here is uh, Bulbasaur, along with a couple more Pokemon toys. And down here is my Pokemon card collection that I'm still working on getting a full set for, for the original uh, uh, first gen. And a Pokemon 10. That's where I keep my shoes, because there's a door right here. As well as some movie posters. Up here, uh, you see the carded figures going along the top. I'm going to highlight that right now so I don't have to point it out every time I walk past some. Uh, here is an autographed uh, Tommy picture that I bought from Total Nostalgia. Um, I bought that to make a buddy of mine jealous. Uh, up here, we've got some Jurassic Park goodness. Uh, very proud of this playset. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. As well as uh, the Thrasher T-Rex, along with a Jeff Goldblum. Then here's a Lost World uh, model kit for the T-Rex, as well as some more Jurassic Park toys. Jeff Goldblum riding the Triceratops. Down here, the Aliens collection. Down here are some Terminator, some Swamp Thing, and some Predators. And down here is the Beetlejuice shelf. Down here is just sort of a random assortment. Uh, those are all uh, Street Sharks and Battle Trolls and a vintage McDonald's playset. And down here are my Batmobiles. Not a lot of room there, but uh, I did what I could. Uh, these are some Pokemon display shelves from GameStop that I pulled out of a dumpster. Uh, first, let's come up here to the Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, cloth poster. Come down to the Vintage Pac-Man board game. Some Pokemon stuff up top. Uh, then there's a handheld Game Boy Color Pokemon edition. Some more Pokemon stuff. Uh, game Boy Mi Advance Micro and a Pikachu 2DS. Then down here are the actual handheld consoles. Um... Ignore how it's kind of bending. This is made of cardboard, but it's not going to fall or anything. It just kind of, it, it just looks like that. It, even if there was nothing on there, it would look like that. So just ignore that. Pan over here to some more handheld consoles. Down here are my PSP games. Uh, I also have Ease 7, but I was actually playing that the other night, so it's not in there. Here's some 3DS games and some uh, GBA games in the box. And down here is where I keep my uh, handheld games. There's some Game Boy, some Game Boy Color, some Game Boy Advance, and some Game Gear in the back there. Over here are some Tiger Electronics handhelds. And there's just like a Pokemon lunchbox and a Pokemon case. Uh, there's a hat that is on the floor right there, just ignore that. And over here are some uh, game-based mangas, mostly Pokemon, but I think there's some Kingdom Hearts in there as well, and a Zelda one in there. Uh, over here we've got the Mario Odyssey poster, the Breath of the Wild poster, my Super Nintendos, including the uh, smaller one. And then there's my Super Nintendo games. It's not a big collection, but uh, it's a collection. And there's a kitty right there, sleeping next to the Nintendo Powers. 
You scroll up, and there are some Toxic Crusaders and some Mask figures and some boxed Super Nintendo games. Up here are the N64 games, which is a console that I love. I'm shooting for 100%. I am about 47% now. And obviously I've got decorated with some Mario Kart figures and a Majora's Mask figure. And up top we got some more random figures over here. There's my Game Cubes and my Nintendo 64s. And there's a Mario Kart game there. Pan over here. Um, I love these shelves. Um, I've got two more smaller ones that I need to hang up somewhere. I haven't quite decided where yet. Uh, there's a Tetris lamp I cannot get to work. And a uh, Pac-Man mini arcade from the 80s that I cannot get to work. But I paid five bucks for it and I'll pay five bucks for some decoration, you know what I mean? Uh, here's some LJN wrestlers uh, next to some highlighted NES games that I just want that I just like to show off. So there, those are, and my hand-painted uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NES, and my NES games, including the boxed ones down at the bottom, and a Mario. There's a Wii Fit board, and the next shelf. We've got the box, the Nintendo stuff, two NES boxes, and a uh, Mario Kart Edition uh, GameCube box. There's the statue that came from Sonic Mania. I got it on Switch, and then they released a physical version, and I was very upset because I bought a download game, and I don't like downloading games like that. Down here are my GameCube games, including the highlighted ones over here. I'm just kind of show those off a little bit. Down here are the last of the GameCube games and the Wii and Wii U games I don't have a lot of. Uh, there's the uh, Lynx Crossbow Training. A random Pokeball. Down here are some Switch games. And some more Switch games. Then down here are my Thundercats. And down here are the real Ghostbusters. And down here is a couple consoles. Uh, Philips CDI I don't have room anywhere else for. But uh, I also don't have con cables or controllers or games for it. So it's just sitting there chilling. With a Sega Saturn and a Sega Dreamcast on top of it. And now we're going to come over here. <sighs> and there's the Sega Genesis's. Genesis? I don't know. Uh, along with Sega Master System games. I cannot find a system for up here are the Dreamcast games, as well as Sega CD games, next to the Shaq Fu bottle. Uh, some old shampoo bottles. There's some loose uh, cart Genesis games back there, as well as a few Genesis games here. Uh, loose Master System, loose 32X games. And up here are the rest of the Genesis games, along with a couple figures from Sonic. Up here, some vintage glasses, as well as some video game-based uh, VHS tapes behind them. A VC VHS Rewinder in the box. And a couple VHS tapes here. That's Entertainment Volume 1 and 2, and a uh, video recorder cleaner. A Pokemon poster. And a, uh, there's a Garfield glass. And a TV with a VCR built into it. Uh, do sometimes watch VHS tapes, sometimes while I'm gaming. Like if you pop in a Super Nintendo game or something that doesn't have any dialogue or anything, you can watch some random VHS tapes. Here is my beautiful wood panel gaming TV. Old school, I love it. Uh, down there's some modern consoles. A Wii, Wii U, and a PS4. Uh, I've also got a Switch. There is the Super Advantage there. Over here is the NES Advantage. Along with a couple PC games that I just didn't have the heart to get rid of. Ignore the mess of wires. I know it's so messy. Then there's some uh, repro consoles, some plug and plays basically. The Genesis one does actually take Genesis carts though, and that's kind of cool. Along with uh, the ones that are preloaded onto it. And here we have my LCD TV. It is 3D capable. 
and that's what I'm using for modern games. But I just hung it up today. I'm so proud to have mounted it. Um, yeah, it, it was kind of a bitch to mount. Uh, finding the studs was so hard. I, I had a stud finder. It was just not working for me. Uh, kept on beeping because I was holding it, so, you know. <laughs> Dad jokes. Uh, ignore these posters. I just don't have anywhere to put them at the moment, so they're just chilling on the TV. Now we're going to move over here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. My three giant turtles. All I am missing is Raph. I am very picky. I need to get him with the belt so he'll match his brothers. Um, down here are my Ninja Turtles figures. There's some random Turtles VHS tapes. And the Turtles vehicles. And this random case. I think I have like accessories in it. Down here are my G1 Transformers. And more G1 Transformers. I have Optimus and Megatron in the back, which I know is a sin, but um, I wanted to highlight the bigger ones in front, so you can still see them, though. And then the Dinobots, I'm only missing two. Uh, those are kind of priority as far as collecting Transformers goes. I want to get the other two. And down here is just some random old... Uh, toys and stuff. There's a vintage light bright, uh, some travel sized games, some uh, play school uh, record uh, players. There's a vintage Simon from the 70s. Over here, some more stuff similar to that. Then we're going to come up to some Star Trek figures, as well as some Men in Black, and a few Gandalfs from the 90s Lord of the Rings line. And then up here is uh, more Star Trek stuff. Now up here's my Dragon Ball Z shelf. These are some of the only toys that I saved from my childhood. Were my Dragon Ball Z toys for some reason. So, yeah. Happy to still have those. Up here's some Power Rangers stuff. I do have room because I am kind of getting into Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm only doing Mighty Morphin. I'm not doing any of the, like, next series, the space, the whatever, you know. Uh, I gotta stick to my guns and only go for certain things, otherwise I will run out of room so much faster. Up here some Power Rangers boxes, including a projector in the box. And a, uh... Give me a second, I'll think of it. Damn it, I can't think of it. I have the box right beside it. Not the power cannon. Okay, shit. Uh. Okay, just, uh, yeah. It's a Megazord. So, yeah. Bask in it. I had a complete brain fart and I cannot think of the name of it. Then there's the power cannon. I do have the box for it back there in the back. Up here is the literal entirety of the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves toy line. Yes, there was a toy line and it is super easy to collect for. Um, the, um, Sherwood Forest playset is actually a reused model from Kenner from the, uh, Ewok Village playset. So that's a fun fact. They also modeled a few of these toys based on the, uh, old Star Wars toys. Empty shelf. Don't know what I'm gonna put there yet. Here's a Disney shelf. Got some Dick Tracy, some Gargoyles, some, uh, Mighty Ducks, Lion King, some Aladdin. I actually just picked up the, uh, Cave of Wonders playset the other day. It is missing a door, but that's okay. I bought it for like a buck, so. And down here are the Toy Biz Marvel toys. I got Galactus up front. And down here are some more. And down here I've got, uh, there's some G.I. Joes. I'm, I'm trying to get a, a, a stand so that I can actually display them properly. Over here's some mask figures, and down here are G.I. Joe vehicles. And over here is another G.I. Joe jet. Then down here are some vintage plushies. I've got some more that I need to put in there. I just hadn't gotten around to them yet. Up here is a random Star Wars themed shelf. Uh, it's got some Lord of the Rings too. I'm, I'm thinking about doing away with that stuff and uh, putting something else there. I just hadn't decided what yet. Up here are some Star Wars uh, creatures and some Star Wars vintage glasses. The Dagobah playset and the large figures there. 
I'm looking to get Boba Fett and maybe Chewbacca for that line. And up here are the vintage figures, as well as the VHS tapes. And then we go up to a Stormtrooper helmet, some movie-based uh, books, and a Boba Fett helmet. Then we're going to come down here to the vintage R2-D2 toy box. I love that thing. It is from 83, I believe. Then here's some uh, statues that came with uh, Collector's Edition uh, Blu-rays. I don't know if those are going to stay in here or not. Um, like I said, this, this is ever-evolving, so, you know, come next month, I might have a whole new video for you. Then up here are some Star Wars cases and vehicles. Uh, the Cloud City car is actually the most recent one I got. Down here are some graphic novels. Some random figures in front. More graphic novels and books. Then uh, those I actually need to put in with the uh, rest of them. There's the Nintendo Labo stuff. Vintage Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, Vintage Gizmo, Vintage E.T., Talking E.T. still in the box, and Vintage Talking Freddy still in the box. I love that thing. I was looking for it for years, and I finally found it. Now there's my uh, toy box that was actually mine as a kid. Um, I'm so glad I still have that. Um, it's just really cool. It is full of toys that I don't have room for or haven't decided where to put yet. Uh, like I said, I am going to put some wall shelves up around the room. Uh, so I will have more enough room for everything. It's just a process, you know what I mean? Then down here, my coffee table. Ignore the wires and mess on top. Uh, we've got an incense burner there, as well as the Millennium Falcon from uh, 1979. I was so, so proud to pick that up off Facebook Marketplace for like 40 bucks. Um, yeah. There's my, uh, Futon. I love that futon. I bought it for 30 bucks off Facebook. Uh, got some Pokemon pillows on it. And a Mario Kart DS comforter on it. I also have a chair over here, but it's currently being used as a pillow holder. Um, I have a monkey holding a skull statue. He's sitting on a bunch of books. So, yeah. Toilet papers for picking up dog poop because somebody likes to poop in this room. I said, Dad, you're embarrassing me. There's a vintage Hot Wheels playset. <coughs> there are some empty shelves that I haven't decided what to put on them yet. And up top, we've got the Masters of the Universe, the He Man stuff. Um, I actually really enjoyed the new Netflix series that Kevin Smith produced. Mark Hamill is Skeletor. Forget about it. I love it. But, um, yeah, I've got the three castle play sets. I am missing Eternia, but that one is fucking expensive. Got the slime pit. A uh, couple vehicles up here. Down here, I've got some amiibos. I'm kind of testing that out to see if that's where I want to put my amiibos. I haven't decided where to put them yet, so uh, just ignore that. Here's some Masters of the Universe figures over here, as well as some VHS tapes in the back. I do like to decorate VHS tapes. Down here some more. Um, I should have enough room right here to finish the Master of the Universe collection once I finally do. Um, I am trying to get all of them. Uh, series 5 and 6 are really hard to collect for. But um, I'm almost done with the first four series. Vintage Hot Wheels there. Over here. Some more uh, He-Man figures. Down there's the box for the Fright Zone. And the box for Arrow which I have right here with Bo atop writing. So what do you think, oh? You proud of this new uh, game slash toy room slash nerd cave? He don't care. He's just trying to not let me out of his sight. He's a good boy. He's my buddy. He's my best friend. He's so good. Yeah. So, there you have it. This is the permanent setting for my stuff. I was... <laughs> it's just like, you know, literally right after I posted that last video, I said, you know what, let's move rooms. Got it completely set up, looking good. 
and posted on Instagram, never got around to a game, to a room tour, and immediately said, you know what, I've got a whole ass den to put stuff in. But, um, yeah, this is the permanent setting for the Nerd Cave now. Um, I'm happy with it, um, until I decide to move it again, you know, probably an hour from now, but, uh, <laughs> no, I've, I've mounted a TV in here, I am not remounting that anywhere, this is it while I live in this house. This this is, you know, this is it. So, there you have it. This is the official, um, what month is it? July? August? This is the official August Nerd Cave room tour. Game room, toy room, you name it. Uh, you have you got to see my pupper. You got to see one of my cats. The other cat's around being an asshole somewhere. Uh, you got to hear me talk for around 30 minutes. So, I'm sure you're done with me. So... Please subscribe if you're new here. I have been the Nostalgia Collector. Remember, physical media will never die. And I sincerely hope I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.